so I want to go over a few tools with you guys that we use a lot that's they're, they're pretty much essential for building differentials. And we'll start off first here with the bearing puller. Uh, these are good for pulling carrier bearings off and some pinion bearings uh, if the pinion is small enough. These are really good for being able to pull bearings off and on without damaging them so you can reuse them. Next we have a few uh, sanders, grinders. These are good for deburring uh, ring and pinions, the teeth on the ring and pinions. The mailman uh, banged up your uh, ring and pinion a little bit. There's a few nicks on the teeth. These are good for softening those edges. Also, um, grinding is maybe essential on certain differentials if you're installing an aftermarket carrier or a really, really high gear ratio. Uh, you may need to clearance your housing a bit to get them to fit, so those are important. Over here we have dial indicators. Dial indicators are for uh, checking your backlash on your ring gear. 99% of the time this is the one you're going to use because this is for standard differentials. This style is good for uh, doing clamshell uh, style differentials when you have to check your backlash through the, the drain hole. Uh, calipers uh, for measuring uh, shim thicknesses for pinion depth, uh, carrier uh, preload, back, backlash, that sort of thing. Good old foot pound torque wrench, uh, torquing your ring gear bolts, torquing your cap bolts. Next we have our shim drivers. These are useful for installing outboard shims. Notice they fit real nice together like that. When, you're, when you have to hammer in the shim, you're not bending it just by hitting it with a hammer. Next we have our punches. Uh, a brass punch is handy uh, for driving in pinion races in, into the housing. But if you're a shop looking into getting into the business, I would highly recommend getting race drivers uh, like these. Uh, you can buy sets of them. Pretty pricey, but pretty essential. Uh, they'll save you a ton of time if you're a shop and you're wanting to get into the business. If you're just weekend guy, go ahead and use your brass punch. It's fine. Just make sure that you clean all the shavings out of your housing after you're done. Next over here, we have dial type or beam type inch pound torque wrenches. These are important for testing your uh, pinion bearing preload. Uh, you need the you need these. These are good for measuring the drag on the bearings. Next. We have a third member holder. Once you take the third member out of the housing, you can use, set it in here. Uh, it flips around. You can get the work on the pinion, flip it over, put the carrier in. It's, it comes in handy so you're not having to fight the third member on the bench when you're torquing everything down. Again, if you're a shop wanting to get into the business, a shop press is essential. Pressing on your pinion bearings, your carrier bearings, um, again, if you're using a third member, this comes in handy uh, installing the pinion without having to use the, uh, the pinion nut to tighten everything down all the time. And then finally, a, a bearing splitter. This is good for pulling pinion bearings off of, off of pinions, especially big pinions. So these are the essential tools that you may or may not have at your disposal, but they're all pretty essential for building differentials.